hi everyone and welcome to another video sorry i'm just sorting out my hair i think it might need a little bit of a brush so anyway let me just get into what I'm doing and what this video is about. So I'm actually getting my dream car, this YouTube video. This is the very start of it. Milo, come on, that come on. Better. Yeah, oh, much better. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm actually getting my, well, fingers crossed, getting my dream car. I'm just working out what car I want, whether I want a used one, which would be like a 2020 plate, or whether I'd want a brand new one, which would be more like a 71 plate, I think. <laughs> I don't actually know. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a look around. I'm gonna go to Harwood, the nearest one to me, which is actually only 10 minutes away, which is perfect. They've got a used one in there, white, because I really, really want a white one, but I don't know whether I want a white one. Do you know what I mean? I've always wanted a white one, but now I'm like, I don't know whether I want a white one. I sort of do like the gray. Mum thinks I should get white. Look at mine. Oh, it's not actually gray. Oh, I need sunglasses. It's it's white, but it's got a gray. I think they call it ice gray. Yeah. And the interior is gray and white. Right, should we get the dogs in and get, get moving? See you guys there, bye. So guys, I'm just at Land Rover now. I was just having a look at all of the colors. How nice are these? I think I'm looking at the one with this color. So it's slightly metallic. It's called that. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. Um, it's slightly different to white. That's white. So as you can see, it's actually like way more gray, but it's nice. Oh my God, that is so weird. It's like magnetic. But anyway, we're just gonna go um, out and see the car now. I've just been talking to the guy over there on his chair, so yeah. Is this the car? This is the car. It is so there nice. Was one, there was one at Crawley that I originally sent you the link. Yeah, you this did. This is a different one, uh -huh. but it's a thousand pound less. So okay. it's a bit of a no brainer, to be honest. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I'll grab the key so you have a look. Yeah, lovely. Diamond turn wheels. You've got the cloud interior with the black. You've got the kind of rose quartz bronze on the side, which is beautiful. Keyless entry. You've got the contrast black roof. Power tailgate, all sorts. Guys, I absolutely love this steering wheel with the white and the two screens. And also, you can actually see how fast it's going, the speed thing, through the windscreen. You can't actually see it on video, I don't think. Oh, yeah, you can. Sort of, it's flashing. Oh, it is gorgeous. How funny is that? So when you're driving on the road, you can see it. But heated steering wheel. I absolutely love it. So if I just shut this, I'll come back around that back. And if I turn it off and then show you for you. So the key to entry, basically, if you've got um, a load of bags and everything, or your keys in your pocket, once it's locked and you come up to your car, basically, you just push one of the handles. Same to lock it. So if you get out of the car and you literally just want to go, if you shut the door again. I actually do love this car. And then car. just push that. And then you can walk away and you're good to go. As, as long as it's in a close proximity to the vehicle, then you can use Guinness Entry. Mum, what do you think? Love it. <laughs> I love that little one better, but that would be for me. Mum's, obviously, Mum's had a look at the other car behind him and thought, hmm, this is a bit of me. Yeah, I do love that. <laughs> Some of them have gesture tailgates where you can kick underneath. So you can just push a button on the key and the boot comes up as well. Bye car! Miss you already! Maybe see you tomorrow! <laughs> so I'm back again a couple of days later. <laughs> so the plan was, Mum, I'll explain Mum and you guys at the same time. The plan was that we were going to get a new one, uh -huh. but because there's low chips and Land Rover, they don't have enough chips for new cars, uh -huh. that means that we can't get a nice... What's the display called? The... It's basically to the global chips, um, but there's not enough chips for certain components. Um, globally, a lot of manufacturers as well, and so it would be a smaller screen, so we can get the car built. Um, so it's a smaller screen rather than a big screen. Yeah. Um, and that I had up display. But have you seen the smaller screen? It's really not as nice. I, I suppose it's preference. 
Yeah. So but six months new bar. bar. But it's decent. But I'll grab the keys to both. Yeah. The white one again uh -huh. and the grey one because yeah. they're the same price, same spec, just a slightly different with a grey with lower mileage and newer. So obviously it's a diesel and then at least you'll sit in yeah. there and be like, yeah. I prefer the white one still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and the screen. You love oh, the big yeah, screen. Yeah, having the smaller screen, it's just not nice as inside. I don't know how I'm seen. I'm going to show I you don't... now. If yeah. you want to show you my back, yeah, I'm going to grab a piece of yeah. This is the. Obviously, this isn't in a bike, but it'd be the same inside. That is the screen that would come if I buy a new one. Uh huh. See that? With the <laughs> left and right dial? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the dials would be electric, mm -hmm. which is obviously much nicer. I don't think there's much in it. I mean, it wouldn't be a decider for me. It'd be a decider for me. Would it? Yeah. That looks much nicer, I think. Yeah, so guys, this one is yeah, six months newer and exactly the same price as the white one. My mum and Peter, Peter works at Range Rover, think, well, my mum thinks that this colour's better. I've always wanted a white one, but after looking, there's like details in this one. Like, see, for example, this bit here, I don't know if you can see that. And then here, it's just like all brand new and obviously this is on 10,000 less miles it's quite a lot of miles like, I probably drive 10,000 miles in a year so it's like a year less miles I just don't know <laughs> so guys we've gone for this one. <laughs> oh my goodness I'm sorry do I see sick guys <laughs> I feel like it's huge compared to my Fiat 500 today is the day everyone I am so excited the day has finally arrived yeah. <laughs> I've gone very very pink today so I'm wearing this pink well I could have I could have actually had a pink bag but I thought I like pink but it'd be a lot so I've got pink tracksuit my cute little white bag and then white and pink dunks but I'm so excited Mummy, you excited? I am excited actually. I'm going to steal it. No, you're not. No, you are not. So it's only 10 minutes away, the place, which is good. So, Peter, Peter good old Peter. Peter he called me this morning and he said, no, Actually, it's, it's not Harwoods, it's um, Range Rover. Range Rover Brighton. Peter at Range Rover Brighton. Is Range Rover and Harbour's not the same thing? Well, it used to be called Harbour's, I think, but I'm not sure if it is now. Oh. You spoiled Harbour's over at Lewis, didn't it? Right, now listen, we've got a bit of a problem and I've hardly any petrol. Should we get... How much petrol do we have? I don't know. Maybe we have a look? Oh, it's okay, you've got two, so it goes down to one, and then you've got reserve. So you've got enough. There's an Asda petrol yeah. station right by. Yeah. So we can do that. Mum's driving. It's just still a bit. Oh, there, there, there you go. There's it. There it is. It's kicking in. It's just all a bit dodgy, to be honest. It's a bit cold in here, so can you figure out how to... That's awful, someone hit that car, isn't it? <gasps> I know. When did they do that? I know, this week sometime. What, on, well, what's on that? the slate? Yeah, Mum, I don't know what it is. I think Mum needs an automatic for starters. I figure that if the wheels are turning round and we're moving, I don't see what the problem is. All I'm saying is if Mum took her test now, they would probably grab the wheel and say, can we pull over? Get out the car. Because it's just all a bit... Oh, goodness me, bit of recycling today. I don't know. Oh. So yeah, but Mum's got exciting news for what? March. Oh yes, yeah. I'm, having, I'm getting a new car. I'm yeah. A new car, and of all the cars in the world, guess what car it is? Wow. Including everything, can include the moon. I feel like the real, moon. the real gals would know this question. It is a. Let's see the steering wheel. It's a. Because yeah, I've had this one for seven years. Has it really been that long? Yeah, from you. It's brand new when I got it. Yeah, anyway. so mum's and car. It's, and it's only done about 37 miles. <laughs> well, no, 
not really. How many miles has it done? Not a lot, actually. It's up for seven years. Um, Mum's car, well, Mum got hers brand new in late 2015, so it's a 65. 25, 25. It's a 65 plate, but this new one is going to be a 22 plate. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that! Oh, lots of halting, lots of... It's very, very bright. But look at all that. Do you hear that engine? It's How pretty is that? And you can see the Amex Stadium, the Brighton and Hope Stadium. You can see the Seven Sisters right, right at the very, very far end there. Seven Sisters were shining. Everyone, I'm going to see you all at Range Rover Brighton because the lighting's not very good. So I'll see you with Peter when I go and collect my car. Bye. So I'm here. Peter, say hi. Hello, you right? How <laughs> exciting! <laughs> oh, honestly, I am <laughs> so excited, guys. Can't wait. Not long now. Look what Peter's got me. Oh, I didn't even realise what this is. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's so nice, isn't it? Look, keyring. Oh, guys, not long now. I'm going to go How do you get in there? So, guys. Something to build, so real. Look at me with all of my stuff as well. I've got my private chair as well, but I have to wait um, until my what's it called? V, not V5. V5, yeah. Is it V5? Till so something comes, so the car's finally registered to my name. It is already, but I think it takes a couple of weeks for it to go into the system. So I've got my private wrenches on then. Oh, I'm so excited! Right, girl, 30, like. Oh, my gosh, how oh there you go. go. After so you. Good. So you saw key this entry. Yeah. So all you have to do, just put your hand on there. There you go. And then you can open it up. As long as you're close proximity, you can do that and you can also lock it. So if you close it again, you'll be able to do the same again. There you go. Oh my goodness. Beautiful, isn't it? I can't believe that. that mm. I'm actually going to be able to just drive out of here. You nervous? Yeah. No, I'll be fine. How long until the wheels are kept? Oh. <laughs> About three point five seconds. I'll walk out and I'll, I'll walk out. I'll drive out and I'll curb on the way out. You watch. She is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So guys, this is the inside. I didn't even see actually when I came that it's got the lights inside. Yes, nice ambient lighting, really cool. Yeah, and I love the rose, the sort of rose gold sort of bronze. What colour even is that? It's either bronze, they call it the rose quartz kind of effect. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think. So that's it, just push that. That's it. <gasps> and when you go, they um, it won't give you much fuel, but there's a, I can put 30 quid in from the car, so I'll do that before you go as well. Okay. Asley, when you drive out. What, can you fill in the, can you fill up the fuel here? It puts, I can do 30 quid just over there. Oh, right. So I'll do that when you go as well. So guys, the car already knows my name. Not like Peter set that up or anything. <laughs> but yeah, Peter's just going through the, all the instructions for me. Do it on the camera if you like. So, yeah. sat nav, six squares. And then you just go onto the top here and you literally just type in the postcode Perfect. or address as easy as that. I will definitely be needing that. Nice and easy. Uh, Bluetooth. So to go onto your phone, we set that up in a second for yeah. you. You literally go onto your phone, set it up and all your phone calls um, and recent calls will all come up on there as well for you. Radio. Ooh. So let's do that. 
So you've got different sources in regards to radio and online media and you'll also plug in your USB and play via your phone. Mm -hmm. If you go back onto here uh, and you go onto favourites, you can set any of your favourite radio stations. These are some I've preset for you. Um, and if you go on to find, then you have all the stations available on DAB. And you can yeah. scroll through, pick any of them you like, push a star, and it will save them as your ah. favourite, which is really cool. Um, also on here, which um, I'm sure you'll put it on video later online, yeah. is, I was just explaining, you've got park oh, assist. Yeah. So the car even parks itself. <gasps> God, that is the best in disguises in a mum. So we go through that, that as well for you. Um, and then finally, if you go on to settings on here, you can adjust all the usual things, time of date, etc. Um, screen angle, so you can either, either move the screen. Oh my goodness. Um, or you can go to, um, on here, you can adjust the brightness. So if you're not light or dark in the in the daytime or light time, oh, yeah. which is already cool as well. There you go. Oh. Cruising on here, mm. then you press normal cruise control and then you've got adaptive cruise. So you've got a bigger arrow and a smaller arrow. That, you set the distance to the car vehicle in front of you. Mm. So if they move out of the way, then you then speed up to your cruise control yeah. chosen speed. If they then get in front of you, it will, the car will slow itself down um, and get to the desired uh, distance that you chose. And guys, I've also got a heated steering wheel. <laughs> uh, and then finally, you'll probably see the head-up display that's on there. Can I see that? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. You should be able to see it on there. Uh, oh yeah, you can. Hold on, I'll zoom in. Whoa. That is cool. It's cool, isn't it? I think I prefer it open. It just... So this is something Landry would call clear sight. So basically if you've got someone sitting in the middle right at the back and they're really tall and you can't see out the back, you have you can switch it to a video camera. Is that why that picture's so there? So that's a picture in the in the back of the showroom yeah, yeah. at the moment. So if oh. you went and stand behind the car you'd actually see people. You try it if you like Nancy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Extra visibility. That is actually so cool. And you're back to the rear view mirror. That is clever, isn't it? I need really to actually clever. put that down like that for me. That is great. That is so cool. Really cool. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> so here we go. How exciting. So guys, that is my getting my dream car video over. It's now the night time. I've been driving the car. I can't believe it still. I am so happy. And yeah, I hope you all love this video. If you did, please smash a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.